ovarian cancer. It affects 1 out of 50 women in the United States. It is the second leading cancer in women worldwide. But what if you get ovarian cancer? What is used to treat it? Paclitaxel is a drug discovered in 1966 that is currently the most common treatment for ovarian cancer. Now we will go into how Paclitaxel was discovered. In 1960, the National Cancer Institute sampled a thousand tree species per year looking for cancer therapies. It wasn't until four years later when they made a great discovery. The scientists collected bark from the Pacific yew tree and later found it to have cytotoxic activity. This meant that it kills cancer cells. Two years later, in 1966, scientists isolated the active ingredient and named it Taxol. Despite being discovered much earlier, Paclitaxel didn't make it to clinical trials until 1984. However, Paclitaxel was still being harvested from the bark of the Pacific yew tree at very low efficiency. The National Cancer Institute calculated that if the drug went onto the market, 360,000 trees would have to be compromised annually to meet current demand. The National Cancer Institute decided to pass on the project to Bristol Myers Squibb, a pharmaceutical company. Bristol Myers Squibb decided to change the generic name of the drug from Taxol to Paclitaxel so they could use Taxol as their trademark name. Once they had acquired the project, Bristol Myers Squibb started to research a more efficient way of purifying Paclitaxel. In 1989, Robert Holton from Florida State University was successful. Holton's new semi-synthesis produced Paclitaxel from a related compound found in the needles of the Pacific U. Because it was isolated from the needles and not the bark, the new harvest method was more efficient and less deadly to the trees. The FDA finally approved Paclitaxel for the treatment of ovarian cancer and it reached the market in 1992. So as you can see from our extremely informative video, without all the research and development that went into Paclitaxel, we wouldn't have the leading ovarian cancer drug that we have today.